Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this. This is the Multipurpose Shield version 2 from Key Studio. And it is a, a simple little shield that fits on top of an Arduino Uno. And it will also work on a Mega. And it, it's, it's a neat shield. It's a really good shield for um, learning some programming tricks with Arduino. But it has some it has some useful features on its own, and we're going to talk about that. So if we start here and we look at the top, we have first this uh, four-digit seven-segment display, and it's hooked up to this potentiometer here. So as I turn it, the Arduino is simply reading the value of the potentiometer. And it's controlled by two HC595 shift registers. Next thing we have here is a uh, piezo sounder. And it's hooked up to this button here right now. Real simple. Over here we have six surface mount LEDs. Uh, of course we have the potentiometer that I mentioned. And we have three buttons. The first button I have it set to just display some numbers on the screen. The second button beeps the sounder. And the third button does a little LED sequence. Now, the beauty of the shield part of this is that it plugs in to your Uno's pins and it, and it kind of takes them all up. But they have left you. Uh, some pins that you can use here. For instance, we have digital 7, digital 6, A4, and A5. So that's giving us uh, two analog pins and two digital pins. And what we can do with that is we can attach different sensors here and use them to read these values or, or to uh, display values here or a warning beep or some status here on these LEDs so this turns out to be uh, kind of a neat little shield so I thought what we could do is grab a uh, temperature sensor like this one here and we can hook it up to let's say a digital pin 7 right here and we'll have ourselves a simple little uh, temperature readout. Let me get that uh, going and we'll take a look at that. By the way, this uh, shield was sent in with a bunch of other really cool stuff by Greg in Oklahoma. We opened up a bunch of Greg stuff before, so thank you very much, Greg. I really appreciate it. Alright, so we're just going to put some of these uh, female DuPont cables on here like so there we go and then we can attach them down here let's uh, zoom in and we'll take a closer look okay so when we look at our module here the pinout we have is green is our signal wire yellow is our plus 5 volts and orange is our ground. So to match up here we have ground right there. Next in the middle is our 5 volt and our signal is on the right. So to hook this up to D7 all we need to do is plug it in just like that. And that's it for our hardware connection. Everything else is ready to go. Okay, so to make our DHT11 sensor work with the shield, all I did was add, I don't know, about eight lines total to the sample sketch that you can download from Key Studio. And I'll put a link both to where you can download the sample sketch from Key Studio and a link to my modified code here 
in the comments down below. So the first thing I did is I added the DHT uh, library. Then I defined what pin we're using, the type of DHT sensor, and then we set up the library. All right, you with me so far? Then we come down into our setup and we issue a DHT begin command. Now here's the, the main loop of the program. It's just looking for a key press and we're going down to the last one which is uh, the analog reading and all I've done is I've changed this variable here, val, which used to get a uh, analog read off of A0 to read the DHT temperature sensor and then what it's doing is it's simply dividing it by a thousand hundred ten and uh, basically taking the remainders and that gives us each of our four digits so really that's all there is to it so is that one two, three, four, five, six. So six lines of code is all it takes to add a DHT uh, sensor to your program. And it uh, incorporates quite nicely with this shield. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so here it is running. You see we have the temperature. Now the way the sketch is written, it's giving us that little zero blink there. But you can see everything else is still quite functional. Let's see if I can uh, put some hot breath on this and heat this up a little bit. Does it work? Yeah, there we go. So we can be heated up a few degrees. And like you see, here it is super simple to add a sensor to this shield. You have a built-in display. You know, you could add an alarm sound if you wanted. Real easy. Hey, thanks again to Greg in Oklahoma for sending this out to us. This is a neat little shield, and I'll put a link down below to uh, where you can get one of your own. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.